Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Wow. Test, test. And welcome to Lumber Tycoon 2. Now, I am so sorry because somebody in my comments was like, Code, what about the slide? And then had like this angry face on him. I was like, oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I, I completely forgot. I did say I was going to build you guys this humongous, awesome slide, and that hasn't happened. So, <clears throat> I took a, a, a little bit of an evaluation of my time as it stands for like creating videos and stuff like that. I think I'm going to come down with a schedule. So I will release on Thursdays and Fridays. That'll give me the time on Wednesdays and Thursdays to record to have something for you guys. So you have something over the week. I will try and stick to the schedule. There are no guarantees to it. So I promise to do my best. I hope that's good enough for all of you, and it's fine if it's not, but there's nothing you guys can do about it. <laughs> it's really up to me to just maintain and stay on. Here's the thing, in order to build that big slide that we want, I gotta go get a lot of wood. And with my base the way it is right now, this is not how I want to leave my base. Does that make sense? So I want to create some bins, and I definitely should have been doing this like long ago for all the different types of wood I've got. And here's the thing. I think what I'll do is I'll just make a bin for the wood as it appears on my base. So that way I'm not building all these bins at one time, trying to finish some project. It's it's all together. So like this thing right here, we don't need that. Let's go over here and start. <clears throat> um, I don't wanna cover up anything. Should we start from the other end? I really don't want to be that close, especially to the loader. We might have to move the loader. Yeah. Hmm. No, no, I like it. I like it right here. Let's do it. Ooh, it's a silver axe. So let's go ahead. My blueprints just changed from blue to gold. Uh, I've seen that so many times. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, that's way too close. I don't want to cover up Jeremy's name. Oh, by the way, Jeremy, you've been like subscribed for like 57 months or something like that. There's like one person who's, who's beat you and that's Magnum Developers for being a subscriber. Uh, sorry, it's it's membership, right? It's um, super members. I don't even know what they call it anymore, but thank you guys. Everybody who's, uh, whose name is at the end. Oh, what am I doing? Actually, that's... No, because it only cost one anyway, so I mean, it's going to be the same to build it either way. Okay, let's do this. I'm thinking of the different designs that I've done in the past. And the one that I always liked the best happened to be on that farm base that I had. And I made it all out of the large walls. Rotate, turn, rotate. There we go. And I missed on the last one I missed. Jeez. Okay, there's five. Um, they're kind of little. They are little, aren't they? Hmm. And that's not as large as a large floor. Yep, don't like it. Destroy, 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 destroy. All right, let's go. Let's go floors. Let's go large floor. Rotate turn. No. Actually, did that land at the right spot? No, you did not. Uh, let's just move you. Rotate turn. Turn, rotate turn. There we go. All right. And let's start right there. Do the same thing. There. There. There's a five. Is that, nope, that's four. And five. Perfect. Now, normally what I do during these... Uh, episodes whenever I'm just building building and everything else is I talk and I talk a lot <clears throat> one of the things I like to talk about is death um, no um is life and living and death we do discuss death um, it's not somebody was saying the other day was, code are you still family friendly and I'm like yeah we're, we are family friendly but here's the thing um, human beings have a lot of things that happen to them through their life, like depression <laughs> and happiness and the loss of loved ones. And it's not, 
I, I find this, you can show violence on TV, right? And it's, it's extremely emotional, right? Very impactful and, and, and it does affect you. But I find it much more powerful when two men can get on there and discuss their inner emotions about how they feel about their spouse or some traumatic experiences that they had in the military and to actually speak those feelings out loud. That is one of the biggest things I advocate for because mental health is, it's important to everyone. <sighs> well, yeah, code, but how and why? I know, I know. I need to answer the simple questions, don't I? Well, here's the thing. Um, human beings tend to have this individuality, this identity about them, right? That makes them think, oh, I'm special. And that's, I mean, when it comes to like statistics and analytics, I mean, that's kind of what I do. I'm an analyst, right? Application development analyst, yeah, analyst. I take into account a lot of different variables and factors whenever I'm sitting down and trying to figure stuff out on programming wise. When it comes to human beings, the same thing is there. There's so many variables that it's becomes a statistic and could, what are you talking about? Okay. For example, if I were to say I had a vision right now of a young woman in her early 20s, first name starts with R, immediately, everyone who's watching right now, right? Just stop, time out. Immediately, everyone who's watching right now. I am not clairvoyant, I am not anything like that. But if there's anybody who's watching this right now who happens to be a young female in her 20s or near her 20s, and their name starts with an R, immediately, like, oh, he's talking about me. No, I'm not. I'm randomly picking a thing. And it would be more likely if I wanted to do something like that, um, I would choose what the most common name would be, right? And I don't know what that is. I'd have to go look it up, but I would do my research. So what I'm saying is you're not the only one who feels like that, all right? You, you may think to yourself, man, my week has been the worst. I lost my job, but my dog died, and I've, I'm have i overwhelmed. There's nothing I can do. You're not the only one, and you won't be the only one, okay? It doesn't, it's, it's not helpless. There is never helplessness. <sighs> Just talk and communicate and tell someone, you know? Don't think for a second you guys have to do life alone. We are all human. We all experience the same emotional conflicts and the same struggles that everybody else does. You are not alone. Okay? Okay. The ice axe does not... Oh, it is chopping. I don't know how well, but jeez. Okay. In times X, do your thing. It was not chopping at all, was it? God, why are you building out the spook wood? Because I need a spook wood place. Oops, oops, oops. Dang it. There we go. Boom. Ooh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Because this wall is going to be different. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. I'm good. We have a place for all that. Um, let's do cherry next. And we got a lot of cherry. I'll just toss cherry in. Come on, cherry wood. It is a cherry tree, right? I think it's a cherry tree. I hope it's a cherry tree. Code, you've been playing this long enough. You should know your trees by now. I know. I just never pay attention. Kind of like me in school. <laughs> just kidding. Not really. It's pretty much like me in school. We need to reformat. Hold on. Are these the same thing? Yeah, these are end times, right? End times trees? End times trees? Phantom wood? Oh, they're all stuck in the ground. Oh, here's a free one. Yay! Freedom! Okay. I'm like, you better change. 
It didn't didn't look like it was going to change for me. Can we hit the ice one with this? Nope. Did it drop? Oh, it didn't drop. The only other axe to not drop. Hold up. Hold up. Um, okay. Silver axe? Well, hold up. The drop's not working. Oh, it's because I'm not hitting the tree. I'm actually hitting... Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. Huh. Okay, I'm confused. Maybe I found a bug. Huh? Bug report. Default here. Default. Somebody let him know, okay? Boom, boom, boom. I am ready for the weekend. Today, um, just to explain a little bit about my job and what I do, I had, well, no, I can't go into details about that, can I? Hmm. Hmm. I guess I could. It's not really, I'm talking about programming. So, anyhow, the company that I work for, right? I had to go and consolidate um, schedules, accounting schedules, right? But I'm not an accountant, okay? And no offense to anybody who does bookkeeping, accounting, or anything that deals with finances and money. I personally don't feel like accounting is math. <laughs> That's horrible to say because it is. It really is. It's numbers all day long. But the big difference is debits and credits and the way that you balance sheets and just... No. <laughs> I like IT. I, I will stay working inside IT. <laughs> Thank you. So, anyhow, um, what I had to do today was I had to get um, the schedules to run with the ability to do what's called post ahead, which basically means, hey, we haven't closed out the end of the month yet, but we do need to see all the um, posts that have come in since the month has started. So here we are on like the 18th of the month, right? And was it average of 30 days? 31 to 31, 30 days. Um, if you look, the EOM, the end of the month ended 18 days ago, right? But it was also the end of the year. So there's a lot of other stuff that they have to consolidate and, and break down and I don't know. They have to count stuff. And what happens on my end is I've got to go back and reprogram one of the pages that I haven't programmed in six months, right? Good thing I documented all of my, hey, that's already done. I documented all of my code because if I hadn't, dear Lord, I'd be lost today. Is this the same? That is not the same. There you go. Anyhow, what I did is um, I was able to find how to do the accounting schedule today. And I also found examples to go off of, so I could run it a few times. But the problem is where the data sits is not on-prem, meaning that we, we don't control the data. The other company controls the data. The business system controls the data, right? In order for me to communicate to the business system, I have to have an ODBC connector, which takes my SQL server and allows me to issue commands that go directly to their server. Does that make sense? Oh gosh, I didn't think I was going to be explaining my job here. Um, I'm a super nerd. Like I, I'm, I am a programmer, but it's way in like the business side of data in the background. Like, yes, I can make games. Yes, I understand games, but like, I am business oriented when it comes to programming wise. But I like having fun too. That's why I play video games. And it really is, it's like, if you wanna become a programmer, there's some people who just become a programmer to become a programmer, you know? Hey, good money, good job, nice security, stuff like that. Um, and then there's others who, want to be a programmer and they just got into it for the money. They didn't care, they did like there was no passion behind it. <sighs> I feel sorry for those people. Please, if you're going to be a programmer or if you're going to do anything, please make sure you love it, right? Don't do it just because, hey, it was popular at the time. Um, and then you have this rare breed of human beings who can't stop playing with technology or being just fascinated at the fact that that computer 
if it messes up, it's not because it didn't like me. It's not because um, I was smarter than it was. It's because I messed up. It's because my mistake happened. That's why I love bugs and that's why I love troubleshooting, which is also an affinity for help desk. So if you're looking to become a programmer or looking to get into the IT world, start on a help desk. It'll give you a huge appreciation for what it means to work a good IT job. Now, all you programmers out there, all right, don't think for a second that you can get away with just jumping in and being a programmer. There are going to be days where just, I don't want to help anyone. Uh, I, I don't care that your Excel doesn't work. <laughs> I don't care that your, <sighs> and, and that's not really true. I don't do that anymore. It's been a few years since I've had to do help desk, help desk. But the point being, all right, I put in a lot of time on help desk and learned a lot, but that's also because I have a different affinity for technology and the love of tech, just in general. And if it doesn't exist on a computer, there's no statement I can say to that. I mean, I lived without a computer for 13 years. I was 13 years old when I got my first computer. Now, everybody around me had the really fancy IBMs and like the TSR 80s and the fancy green screens, but big five inch floppy disk. Things are massive like that. And then when you put them in, you have to put the little bar down as a and then sits there forever. And you only got like 23 kilobytes of memory. Anyhow. <sighs> I have to say I am super jealous of this generation because you have not had to learn all the things that make that phone work. And I don't think there's anyone more offended <laughs> that you aren't more into your phones. Uh, I know it's like a joke. Hey, you know, just hand the kids tablets and that'll be their babysitters I know that's a joke but at the same time I grew up on Nintendo and I grew up on Game Boy and I couldn't imagine doing a road trip without a Game Boy or some form of entertainment um, when I do road trips now I listen to audiobooks instead anyhow I had a point to this story going somewhere with it um, Oh well, <laughs> I guess that's why you guys watch this, right? It's not because I actually play the game. It's because, hey, he's uh, he's talking about life here, guys. Sorry, he's trying to put a Boston accent in there somehow. Wicked smart. Mm. By the way, I love this shirt. It's a boss shirt. But here's the funny thing. Um, I bought this back when I was still in the Marine Corps. <laughs> so this this shirt is somewhere in between the year 2000 and 2004. That's when I bought it. No. Yeah, somewhere in, in between the year 2000 and 2004. So in the comments down below, how many of you, don't tell me your age. I don't want to know your age. Okay, first off, the the whole, what was it? COPA, the Children Online Privacy Protection Act, COPA, is that right? I think I said it right. Don't sue me. Um, I don't want to know your age. I don't care. I can't agree to terms and services for you. And if you're on my channel, that means that you had to get an account that was made through YouTube, which means that you have agreed to be over the age of 13. I think that's how it goes. Anyhow, that is not the right kind of wood. What kind of wood is this? Oh, wait, hold on, is that palm? I think that's palm. I don't know what that is. Holy cow. Did we make a ice one? We did, yay. Mm, excuse me, excuse me. We had some good food tonight, oh my goodness. What did we have? I don't remember. It was good though. <laughs> Uh, no, we had the soup for, there, there was a hamburger soup that we ate for lunch, 
and my wife's it's like my wife's original recipe oh my gosh it's so good uh, she sometimes makes it with like kibasas and she'll grill the kibasas like slice them up and grill them before and just oh it's so good um what did we have for dinner dang it oh we uh we share milled so what happens is um because like i told you i'm changing the recording schedules because of all the extra time like i don't have extra time <laughs> that's why i'm not i've not been recording every single day it's why everything's been kind of topsy-turvy and turned around just no time right so what i've been doing right um well where we're at now is i do have a little bit of time and i'm gonna make it happen on wednesdays and thursday nights that i'm recording bring stuff in playing roblox and all that kind of stuff that's that's my plan <clears throat> Whoa, whoa, wow. Crazy. Mm, mm, mm. So, don't be mad. I will make this light. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I am so sorry. And if I get off track again, like if one week you're like, Code, why weren't you working on the slide? Then I'll know that I was supposed to be working on the slide. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Okay, this is, this is the start. We have to get organized. And then I'll make the slide. It'll, it'll be huge. Okay? But I do want to, I should probably test that first. Because we don't even know how it works on, on ice, right? Hold on, this is in time stuff, right? This is not ice wood. Where's this ice wood? Hold on. Yeah, that's not ice. So, that is definitely phantom wood. I thought it was more of a bluish color, isn't it? And haven't we been up there? <sighs> oh, sorry, my God. Okay, I've got eight minutes, eight minutes. Can I make it up there, bring back some ice wood and come and create this thing so we can test? I don't know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna sure try. That's a trailer. Is this trailer, 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 or is this truck trailer, trailer? I think this is truck trailer, trailer. Hold on, let's see. Truck. Nope. That's the trailer. <laughs> oh, bam. There we go. Alright, we're gonna throw that in there. Ow. Go get us one of these. Come on. And let's go. Got ice axe on me, I think. I think I do. I can't tell right now. It took away my controls. Let's do this. It's it's a speed run for Icewood. Tom! I'll be back! Okay, go. Hmm. Oh, and like Scotty Wartooth, if you happen to be watching this, I do apologize about um the stream earlier. When I said, hey, I'd like to play Roblox together, I wasn't like, hey, I'm a big fan. You want to play Roblox with me? It was literally like, oh, hold on. It was like, I like your content. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Run, run. Oh, did I get hit? I got hit. Man. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ugh. Oh, it's going to be slow because I've got to run on the rocks, don't I? That's okay. What is this? What is that? It's death. That's what that is. It's death. Do you guys remember when the Christmas bells, this song, used to be uh, copywritten? I'm like, yeah, that's a long time ago. I think it was by Kevin McLeod as well. Um, Kevin McLeod. Is McLeod. He's like Scottish. Oh gosh, the turning sucks. You know what? We're not gonna play that game. We're just gonna bam! Turn. Wait, because I can grab this. I can't grab it while I'm sitting on it though. Could I grab it if somebody else is sitting on it? We need to experiment. I need experiments. Jack! 
Jack. I'm sending out good vibes into the UK verse, nether, the multiverse, UK region. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. That way we can go and record. Boop. I bet I can make that sound effect. We're just blowing bubbles in about the. Design. There we go. Oh, look at that. The NOS kicked in. Zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Cool primate is a zoom. And we're back down to slow speeds. Oh man, this is. Oh, this is gonna be simple. Watch this. You guys always like see me do this like super fast and it's like oh my goodness but I do it in the Valhalla right zink <gasps> dang it all right this might be a bad idea hold on let's just can we just walk it let's walk it we can walk it it's fine come on oh gosh <gasps> okay Whew. I thought I was gonna jump out underneath I was like no it just clipped but I guess I didn't. I guess I'm good. <laughs> I can turn it and jump on. That's awesome. All right, let's just go super fast instruction. Turn, turn, no, turn, dude, turn. Zoink. Straight lines. That's how. That's how you drive this particular vehicle. You just turn it in straight lines. Increase this turning radius. Thing's horrible. Need to take it to Jack's tune-up shop. Oh, Jack should definitely get a tune-up shop inside lumber. And then, and then, and then, he could be, um, like the shop you would go and see him, and he'd give you an upgrade to your uh, Valhalla and to your utility vehicle XL. Well, I guess I could have walked like this, couldn't I? Why wasn't it working in first person? Just too too close or something? Hold on. No, it's like... Yeah, something's not right. What in the world? Something's going on with the script. If you walk sideways, it's not too bad. I'm actually, like, this is forward, this is forward and right. But see how my camera's off at an angle? I can do the same thing on the other side, just have to switch it around. So if I do forward and left, forward and right works, forward and left did not. That's weird. If you get the angle right, I mean, I'm technically just doing a straight line. That's, that's pretty cool. And then if I let go of forward, it should go right. And we can just drop and go. Aim it straight, dude. Oh, I see the clouds. I see the clouds. Yay, we made it. We made it. Yay. Now, I don't need to get a whole bunch. I just need to get some for testing. So we'll just get one, okay? Nice. Okay. That's a really nice one. Like, that's crazy nice. <gasps> no, no, no! Stop! Stop! Oh, that was so close. And now I feel really bad because I dropped. <sighs> oh, I got one minute to make it back alive to the thing. <laughs> I should have known better. There's so much lag that you just, you can't, you can't. I did see my... Oh, there it is. Okay. I can't see anything. Can you guys see anything? There we go. Okay. Jump on. Somehow. And then now for lights. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, look. It works as a lantern, too. You just go down the caves and you do things. It's like a little flashlight. Click, click. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and take this on up. I'm just gonna drop this out. Yoink. 
Also, uh, to the person who commented in the community, I don't think code does it for the views. You are 100% correct. I mean, I'm still doing it to get views, but I don't care if there are a lot of views, a little views. I'm doing it because I like to play the game. I like to do YouTube. I like to talk. And it's more like a... It's almost like a blog, really. I mean, if you think about it. Kind of document my life. Oh, what the great Heath Haskins did while he was in this world. You know, made the impression that he was some kind of YouTuber. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I am a YouTuber. I am. I, am. I, gotta, I gotta stop putting myself down like that. Burr, 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 burr. Hold on. Let's take a peek. Okay. We're like right there. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Here, flip that around. That's yours. Nope. You dropped it. Hold on. You're so messy. There you go. And good. Y'all buckled in? Good. All right. Now hold on to this. Oh, oh, no. Hold on to it. Why are you coming at my face? Stop. Get in the thing. Just please. Get in. There you go. That's good. Gotta work. Off we go. Into the wild blue lumber. Mm. Animated. I, I, I was called animated the other day. I'm like, I am not an animation. Okay. Mm, excuse me. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hello there. Sorry. So, I'm still thinking about the stream. That was funny. My daughter showed me a new song, and I didn't realize it was like an old song until later on. And I'm like, that's a really cool song. I like that song. It's uh, Green Green Grass, Blue Blue Sky. I didn't know that was a song. <laughs> Anyhow, I heard the... Uh, Nightcore version of it first, which is sped up, and I'm like, that is an awesome song. Why have I never heard this before? Anyhow, I found out that uh, the slower version of it is even as good. It's just as good as like the the sped up nightcore version. So I like both. A lot of people are like, oh, do you like nightcore? Yes, I like nightcore. I like uh, hacking things. Not like actually hacking things, but like you know. Things of hackeries and nerdish stuff, but I think I think my level of nerd is it's it's, it's more like computer nerd. I mean, I'm good with superheroes and like X Men and stuff like that, but I don't get into the DC world or the Marvel world. I don't I don't play there. There's some people who, like, they know all the characters and all the things. I'm just, wow. I am amazed at the knowledge that you guys have. Oh, come on, baby. Please get in there. There you go. Last one. Hey, they're sliding. They're sliding. All right, let's go to large floor. And let's see. Rotate turn. We're going to do one. Actually, let's do this. One, two, three. There we go. That's good. This should cover all of them, maybe. Hold on, where's... There it is. Nope, it's only going to cover four. I think. If even that... Yeah, we'll do one last one. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to hurry. I am. I know. I see it's 34 minutes. I've gone four minutes over my normal time. Now, two, and three. It's fine, it's fine. I'll, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Come on, come on. Oh, there, good. Now, we'll instantly know if it does make a difference because, oh, come on, get in there. Just go to your home, you too good for your home. There we go, okay. Come here, boink. Now, this is what the normal sound sounds like when you're on dirt. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Let's put it on the ice. Let's see if there's a change. Oh, 
There is, but it is worse than snow. Holy cow, did you guys see that? I was barely able to move. That is very interesting because I don't move quite at all when I do that. That's There's no way that thing's actually moving. I mean, it's parts. This is it's a plane, a plane, a plane. This is like half of a, a cylinder. And then this is like a mini cylinder. Is that even a cylinder? Like, that's not even a cylinder. That's just where the two intersect right there. It's literally like one, two, three, four. It's like four parts. It says it doesn't move. Why is it? I am complexed. Perplexed? I am perplexed. My programming brain is trying to wrap around this. Oh. Yeah, that still doesn't make sense. Yeah, if somebody could uh, figure that one out, why is it that it feels like the wheels on this thing are slipping? Or maybe there's some invisible wheels on there that might be part of the truck or part of the car, part of the vehicle that I'm not seeing. They're invisible and non-collide. <gasps> I have no clue. Don't know. Anyhow. Yoink. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. I will see you next week, hopefully, same day, same time, and we'll get back onto like a regular schedule. Um, it will be two a week, hopefully. Knock on wood, I've got some content. Knock on wood, I've got some time. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to subscribe, go for it. That's cool. I mean, I don't, I never pressure anybody, and it's been years since. I've been trying to get subs, so love you guys. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you, Betty, soon. <gasps> oh, true. Oh, by the way, these are all the sponsors' names. These are the the super peoples in the in the credits. <gasps> oh, true.